Hello, this is Charlie Lorenz for the Abalone Hunter. This is the Memorial Day Weekend Report. Our tides along the Mendocino Coast are as follows. On Saturday the 25th, we have a low at 6.04 a.m., a minus 1.7. On Sunday, we have a low at 6.52 a.m., a minus 1.9. And for those of you who are planning to go on Monday, we have a low at 7.41 a.m., a minus 1.8. Weather, as far as on Saturday, we're going to have northwest winds at 5 to 10 knots with waves at approximately 5 feet at 7 seconds coming from the northwest. On Sunday, northwest winds 5 to 10 knots with waves coming from the northwest again at 5 feet at 8 seconds. But on Monday, we're going to have southwest winds, 5 to 10 knots, and waves west at 6 feet and 9 seconds. <clears throat> so keep in mind, for when you were out there diving on the north side of the coast, north winds, diving the north sides, that's great. But on Monday, with the winds shifting and everything, be really careful because you're planned exit point might change because of the change of direction of winds. Also, I always think in terms of, hey, northwest winds, dive on the north side. If you want to go ahead and dive on the south side, sometimes a great time to do that is when we're getting southwest winds. Okay, but keep also in mind that we're going to get winds coming straight in almost from the west, in which case those winds and those waves are going to come straight into the cove, and sometimes that can make it a little bit bumpier for you. All right, so be careful out there either way. This is going to be a great weekend. We're going to have calmer seas with much lower winds. For you divers that are um, rock picking or diving, I would suggest try something new this weekend, okay? Um, try a different cove, or if you're the diver that dives on the north side of the cove, maybe try the, the south side of the cove. Go to that other cove that you've never tried before. We're going to have a great, like I said, a great weekend with calmer seas. Really good time to really get out there. So for more information on visibility reports and any other information you might be interested in, call Subsurface Progression at area code 707-964-3793. Have a good abalone hunt and be safe out there. Hello, hi, this is Charlie Lorenz, host of the Abalone Hunter. Today it's Tuesday, April 30th, on a minus tide here at Todd's Point. We're here to basically talk a little bit about what's going on out here. You can see it's very rough out there, a lot of winds coming really hard from the north. There are abalone hunters down below working in the rocks, I should say brave abalone hunters because this is a dangerous time to be hunting for abalone especially right now it is going on low tide in about uh, the lowest part of the low tide is about 15 minutes it's a minus one foot today but the problem is right now going that the tide is dropping or what they say ebbing out in other words as the tide is dropping the flow of the ocean is heading out toward the ocean so it's getting pulled out and at this particular time where we have really strong north winds with a really strong longshore current also we have another situation what they call the Ekman transport which is causing what they call an upwelling this upwelling basically draws ocean water from underneath and pulls it out in toward you know open ocean so basically you've got like three different currents happening going that way, going out to ocean. And any one of these rock pickers out here, if they're not careful and they slip in some deeper water, especially because they're not wearing fins, they could be pull, pulled out into the ocean to this very, very rough sea that you see behind me. I mean, there's some big waves, big white caps. They're calling up to 18 to 20 foot swells out there by the end of the day. So very dangerous time for people to go diving or even rock picking. Uh, Got to be very, very careful. Some things I would recommend, 
if I was gonna be brave enough to go out there, which I'm not, not today, <laughs> I would be definitely having a float with me, some kind of a flotation device, so if I got pulled out to sea, at least I have something to hold on to, to rest on, okay? Uh, fins would be a plus, so it'll help you fight against the current. But all in all, if you're working in these low minus tides, be very, very careful with these kind of days. Hold on tight with those rocks. Be sure you stay close to your dive buddy and good luck. All right, so hopefully we'll be seeing each other soon in the ocean. You take care and have a good abalone hunt.